why we're all doing this is because our government is breaking the constitution. You know, we have a constitutional court decision from 2021, two years ago, that our climate law is unconstitutional and it has not been, um, it has not been modified in the right direction. Actually, they are trying to modify it in the wrong direction and make it softer, which is ridiculous in the year 2023 when parts of the world are burning and refugee numbers are going up. It's completely ridiculous and irresponsible and that's why we have to do this. And, and what do you hope that this kind of action, this action. kind of demonstration will achieve? Well, we're communicating with society because we are in a democracy and um, in a democracy it's not what a small pressure group wants to achieve, which, which the government has to follow, but it's society. So when the German society tips and realizes, oh, we hate these free protests, we hate these climate groups, and we can live with that, um, but actually what they're demanding their rights so the government is violating our constitution. And whatever we are doing, you know, blocking traffic for maybe a few hours sometimes, you know, at most, um, it's nothing compared to the suffering that's heading down on us. And for which the government is responsible. And so so it's just as Antonio Guterres said, the United Nations General Secretary, the real criminals are not us, <laughs> the climate activists, but the governments and the fossil fuel companies who are you know, making the situation purposefully worse in full knowledge, you know, that they're basically wrecking our future and our, our kids' future. That is completely irresponsible. And I do expect they, they will stand in court in the years to come. Um, now we're coming up to an election here in Bavaria. Um, and I guess the, that's why, why Bavaria is the focus right now. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I just pressed it on a little bit more. Um, yeah, the focus is basically in Bavaria because our constitution, the German Grundgesetz, uh, was written in Bavaria 75 years ago. You know, 10 days ago, just until yesterday, for 10 days in 1948, they were writing the constitution, which then was basically verbatim adapted to be our German uh, Grundgesetz. And so we took that as a, as, a, as a lead, you know, let's go protest in Bavaria and connect the dots, you know that here's the government celebrating themselves for 75 years constitution, which they're violating, you know, on the most important issue, which is our survival. You know, and that is just hypocrisy, you know. Hey, hey, we're going to go back. Go forward. They've prepared, you know, their emotions, you know, if this ever happens to me, I'll be so upset. So it happens to them, they're upset. You know, it's, it's, it's the price they're paying, you know, I broke the grip last year, you know, with the private you know, you know, um, it's, it's the risk we're taking, but the, the bigger risk is the risk we're all taking by not shifting into action. We, we don't need more words and more promises. Yesterday, in the news, uh, the German news, uh, the expert council for the German government for climate change said there's no chance that we will meet our 2013 targets. And our chancellor, what did he say? I believe that they're wrong. I believe we have everything in place, you know, it's just, it's just lies, it's just words, you know. We and, 